question what is the story of Jesus salam allah and how was he made to appear to them as mentioned in the almighty's saying and we did kill the messiah jesus son of mary the messenger of allah whereas they slew him not no crucified him but he appeared to them so like isa and those who differ therein are certainly in a state of doubt about it have no definite knowledge thereof but only follow a conjecture and they killed him not for sure what is the answer to this dilemma and how can we answer this straight forward bismillahir rahmanir rahim praise be to allah the lord of the world may the blessings of allah be on the prophet and his family and the pure imams and the pure mafis on the night of his ascension into heaven Jesus set a meeting with his disciples they all came to him except for Judas who led the Jewish scholars to him Jesus alayhi salam indeed he went to the highest Jewish religious authority and traded him for delivering Jesus to them it was past midnight and the disciples had fallen asleep only Jesus alayhi salam stayed awake so allah lifted him onto him and put his look alike in his place his look alike who was crucified and killed in his stead and so he was his shield and scapegoat in fact the look alike of jesus alayhi salam is one of the guardians from the people of the house of prophet muhammad peace be upon him who was crucified and killed and endured torture for the cause of imam al mahdi alayhi salam jesus alayhi salam however was neither crucified nor killed but was lifted to heaven thus allah saved him from the jews and their scholars who have gone astray and caused the demise of others may allah curse them forever the almighty said in their sayings we did kill the messiah jesus son of mary the messenger of allah where is they slew him not no crucified him but he appeared to them so like jesus in the narration in his interpretation of the speech reported on the authority of abu jafar alayhi salam ali ibn ali bin ibrahim said jesus alayhi salam met with his disciples on the on the night allah lifted him onto him they gathered in the evening there were 12 men and he invited them into the house and then he appeared to them from a fountain in the corner of the house shaking the water off his head and said allah is raising me to him now and he will save me from the jews but which one of you accepts that allah casts my ghost upon him so he be killed crucified and raised to the same rank as mine one of them replied i do o spirit of allah and then jesus said you shall be them the jews came asking for jesus alayhi salam that night they took the man upon whom the ghost of jesus alayhi salam was cast so he was killed and crucified moreover imam al-baqir alayhi salam says 12 men met and yet the disciples who showed up at the meeting were 11 since judas did not come and instead he went to the jewish scholars to hand them jesus alayhi salam and this is one of the recurrent narrations that cannot be denied in fact the 12th one who attended or rather should we say who came down from heaven is the guardian from the progeny of the prophet muhammad alayhi salam who was crucified and killed he was made to appear as jesus alayhi salam the last words of this guardian upon his crucifixion were as follows elijah elijah why have you forsaken me and in the gospel of matthew jesus cried with a loud voice saying elahi elahi lamma sabaktani that is to say my god my god why have you forsaken me 
Those who stood there and heard him said, This man called for Elijah. Where is the rest? Said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. Jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in a twain from top of the bottom from top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rocks rent asunder the truth is that the translation of the words he said is o ali o ali why have you brought me down whereas the christians translated as my god my god why have you forsaken me as mentioned in the previous gospels Moreover, the meaning of bringing down or casting down from the sky is very close for forsaking. It is worth noting in this context that the guardian did not utter these words out of ignorance as to the reason of his casting down from heaven or as, or as an objection to the will of Allah Almighty. In fact, it is a question with an implied answer addressed to the people meaning understand and know why I was brought down, why I was crucified and why I was killed, so that you do not fail the test again should the same question be repeated to you. In fact, if you see the Romans or their likes conquering the earth and the Jewish scholars or their likes helping them, I will be in that land, for this is the law of Allah that repeats itself. Thus, learn your lesson and support me when I appear and do not take part once again in my crucifixion and murder. He meant to say in this answer to the question which is clear to every reasonable person endowed with the pure instinct, I was crucified, I endured torture and the insult of the Jewish scholars and I was killed for the sake of the minor appearance. The appearance of Imam al-Mahdi alayhi salam and the, establish, the establishment of the state of truth and divine justice on this earth. When asked by the Jewish scholars and the Roman governor, Are you the king of Jews? This guardian used to answer, saying, You have said, they say it, or you say it. And he never said, yes, an answer that would seem odd to someone who does not know the truth. But now it has been clarified. Let us see. In fact, he did not say yes, because it is not him who is the king of the Jews. But Jesus alayhi salam whom Allah lifted up unto him. He the guardian is the lookalike who was brought down to be crucified and killed instead of Jesus. Herunder is the dialogue of his answer as mentioned in many gospels after he was taken into custody. And the high priest answered and said unto him, I adjure you by the living God that you tell us whether you are the Christ, the Messiah. Jesus said unto, you, unto him, You have said that. And Jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said to him, You say. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered, saying, You say it. Then said they all, are you then the Messiah? He said unto them, You say that I am. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again and called Jesus and said unto him, Are you the king of Jews? Jesus answered him, Say you this thing of yourself, or did others tell it to you of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew, your own nation and the chief priests? have delivered you to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight that I should not be delivered to them, the Jews. But now is, now is my kingdom not from hence. Pilate therefore said unto him, Are you a king then? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. To this end, was I born and for this cause came I unto the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. In this last dialogue the guardian showed that 
he did not belong to the people of the earth at that time. But he descended onto, onto this time to accomplish a mission which is sacrificing his life for Jesus. For you see, this guardian saying, My kingdom is not of this world, but now is my kingdom not from hence. And for this cause came I unto the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was reported saying, He, said Jesus, the son of Mary, alayhi salam, will descend at the break of day, clad in two pieces, which are yellow gowns, made from saffron. He will be a red-haired man of fair complexion, with a parted shiny hair, holding a spear in his hand. He will break the crucifix, kill the pig, destroy the Dajjal, the imposter, collect the money of the al qaim and walk ahead of the people of the cave. He is the most trusted helper, chamberlain and deputy of al qaim And he will spread security in the west and the east with the blessings and the dignity of the Hujja, the authority and the proof of Allah, the son of al Hasan, alayhi salam. The commander of the faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi salam, also said in this regard, az Zawra once again will be the home to those kings and the rule will be handled through the Shura where the victorious take the prize. It is at that point that a Sufiani will appear and travel the land for nine months, during which he will inflict upon them the worst torment. Woo on to Egypt! Wu on to Azawra, Wu on to Kufa, and Wu on to Asit. For it is as if I am looking at Basit and I see no survivor there with any news. It is at this point that Al Sufiani will appear. Food will become scarce, people will become sterile, rain will become rare, lands infertile, not a drop of water will come down from the sky. And then Al Mahdi. The rightly guided, the guiding Imam will reappear and take the standard from Isa ibn Maryam, the son of Mary. There are many hadiths which indicate that Jesus salam, was not crucified or killed. But the one who was crucified and killed was his lookalike. Abu Abdullah salam, also said, Jesus the son of Mary was lifted clad in garments of wool that was spun by Mary salam, and woven and sewn by Mary salam. And then when he reached heaven he was called upon O Isa, son of Mary cast off from yourself the finery of the world Imam brother salam, has also said none of the prophets and hujjats salam, proofs and authorities of Allah were substituted by lookalikes before the people, except for Jesus, the son of Mary, alayhi salam. Alone, indeed, he was lifted off the earth alive. His soul was taken between the sky and the earth. Then he was lifted to heaven and given his soul back. The Almighty said, Behold, Allah has said, O Jesus, I will take you and raise you to myself. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was also reported to have said, Jesus did not die and he will come back to you before the day of resurrection. And he turned to me, Jesus is a prophet sent to the people by Allah Almighty. He asked the Almighty to exempt him and spare him the crucifixion, agony and murder. Since Allah Almighty does not reject the supplication of a prophet sent by him, he answered his prayers lifted him onto him and brought down the guardian who was crucified and killed in his stead. In this concern, there are many texts in the Gospel which report the supplication of Isa to be spared the crucifixion and murder. They are as follows. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed if it were possible the hour might pass from him and he said abba father all things are possible unto thee 
Take away this cup from me. And then he withdrew from them, about a stone so away, knelt down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Furthermore, the texts that appear in the Bible and the Torah, in the book of Isaiah, in the chapter 8 of the book of Acts in the Bible, it is stated, he was led as a sheep to slaughter, like a lamb dumb before his shearer. So opened he not his mouth. All the prophets and guardians who have been sent unto us have spoken and none of them was led silent to slaughter. They were sent to talk, reprimand and preach. And preach to all the people. And how much Isa, son of Maryam, in particular, has done that to them and the scholars. Thus one cannot believe that he went to the slaughter silently. In fact, the one who was led to the slaughter silently is the guardian and the custodian, the lookalike, the lookalike of Jesus, who was crucified and then killed without uttering a word or asking Allah to spare him agony. All the crucifixion and murder and without addressing the people even he had been questioned obstinately and incessantly, Who are you? Are you the Messiah? His only answer to their question had been, You said it. Hence, he went towards agony, crucifixion and death in silence and content with will of Allah accomplishing the purpose of his descent to earth and which was to be crucified and killed instead of Jesus salam. Since his time had not come yet to be sent to inform and talk to the people in the first place, he went towards his fate like a following. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter, like a lamb dumb before his shearer. So open he, not his mouth. We hope that this digital media be beneficial to every believer who wants to know the truth of this situation since this person descended to earth was crucified and killed and nobody knew him he did not ask to be mentioned or known he descended silently was crucified silently was killed silently 